Hello, in this video, you will learn about metaheuristic algorithms. Topics covered in this video. We will start with what is metaheuristic population, its size, and its initialization. After that, we have how we can generate initial population for any metaheuristic algorithm. And next is we have population based metaheuristic. Then we will learn what is population based and single metaheuristic. Next is parameter tuning in metaheuristic, where we will learn different types of parameter tuning like numerical and operator based parameter tuning in the metaheuristic algorithms. Next is we have different types of continuous function that is the classical metaheuristic continuous function which help in the performance improvement. Next is metaheuristic performance indicators. And then we will learn how we can measure the success rate and the performance rate for any metaheuristic algorithm. And the last one is applications of metaheuristic algorithm. So first we have population. So what is metaheuristic population? That is the set of points at current iteration. For example, in case of PSO, you can see here we have population of particles. So you can see here. It is nothing but just the set of points. Next is population size. So what is population size? Population size means number of that is the total number of points or you can say these are the individual at the current iteration that is population size. Right now for this example we have population size is 12. You can see these are 12. Next is metaheuristic population generation so how individual population is generated as we all know metaheuristic algorithms are nature inspired algorithm so we have real life individuals so these algorithms are inspired by the real life individuals or different species so in case of metaheuristic algorithm we will assume population and then we will generate using random numbers we are using here random process for the population generation and we can use ran random number generator and the population is generated between the 0 to 1 that is the random number between 0 to 1 here population size is 5 we have 5 individual you can see here next is in the evolutionary algorithm we have population of individuals like in the bee colony we have population of bees in the bat algorithm we have population of Microbats in the PSO algorithm, you know, this is the particle swarm optimization. Here we replaced birds with particles, so we have population of particles. In the gray wolf optimization, we have population of wolf. Next is population based metaheuristic. You know, we have two types of metaheuristic that is single metaheuristic and population based metaheuristic in single metaheuristic we have single solution and in population based metaheuristic we have set of points set of solution or you can say set of individuals we are working with set of solutions so how population based metaheuristic algorithms work as we all know in the different algorithm we did this process already you can see first step is we will initialize the population of solution that is the initialization phase next is we will generate new solution or that population you can say that is the solution or population after that replacement is done replacement of the current population is done with the new solution and then we will repeat this process until we met the stopping criteria now we will see different phases that we used in you can see here we have different phases so now we will discuss all this in detail first is initial phase that is the population of solution here we have in the initial phase we will initialize population of solution and how we can initialize population using, using random numbers between 0 and 1 second is generation of new solution now we will generate new solution for the next iteration after that we will replace the new solution with the current solution that is the replacement between the new and the current solution is done in the third phase after that we will repeat this process until we met the stopping criteria for example you can see here we have first we have to generate initial population for the first iteration that is initially we have iteration size that is 
iteration counter at 0. So we have initial solution. Now we will generate new solution for the next generation. Here you can see this is the population for the next generation. Here we, are, here we will use fitness function and according to the fitness function we will consider good and bad solution in the current population. On the basis of the good and bad solution that we get according to the fitness value we will perform replacement that is we will replace the good solution with the bad one that is we are doing here replacement between the new solution that we generated here and the current solution that we already have and then we will increment the counter we will repeat this whole process until we met the stopping criteria that is the final phase after that we will print the output that is the optimal point next is what is parameter tuning in the pata heuristic algorithm we have parameter initialization two types offline initialization and online initialization in offline it is for the two types that is optimization design and meta optimization and online is self-adaptive and dynamic in case of offline is initialization value is fixed that is unchanged in case of online initialization value is dynamic it is changing so it is not fixed in case of online initialization now you can see here we are using parameter tuning in the meta heuristic for the flexibility it per, it allow flexibility and it also makes great impact on the search process it provide efficiency next is offline initialization in this case you know parameter values are fixed before execution of the meta heuristic and here we can tune one parameter at a time in case of online initialization parameter values are updated and controlled dynamically during execution you can see the difference here values are fixed and here we can control and update the values and you can see they are fixed before execution of meta heuristic here we are changing the values during the execution of meta heuristic in this we can tune one parameter at a time and in this case there is no such condition like this next is next is why we are performing parameter tuning in meta heuristic by suitable parameter tuning in algorithm we can achieve better performance and we can solve complex problems done we're using here parameter tuning for the best performance and in order to solve complex problems so the goal of meta heuristic is algorithm optimization for the best solution and you can see here it provide quality solution and it improve performance next is parameter tuning goals by this we can reduce the time cost we can minimize the algorithm running time by parameter tuning we can improve solution quality number of fitness function evaluation next is categories we have numerical parameters and operators in case of numerical parameter we have real integer values and for example we have population size and the mutation rate that are the example of numerical parameter and in this case we have selection operator that is used in the evolutionary algorithm next is classical meta heuristic continuous function here we have different function that we are using as objective function the meta heuristic so now we have different classical function in the meta heuristic that are helpful in the performance evolution you can see the different function that are used in the meta heuristic for the performance evolution next is meta heuristic performance indicators we have different indicators that are used in the meta heuristic for the performance improvement first is solution quality indicator with the help of this we can improve the quality of the solution then we have flexibility development cost and the computational effort and the robustness second last is how we can measure the success rate and the performance rate for the meta heuristic see success rate means number of successful run that is number of successful run divided by total number of runs and the performance rate is the number of objective function evaluation and we can compute this by number of successful run divided by number of function evaluation and the total number of runs that last is meta heuristic algorithm application 
We can use meta heuristic in the different areas like in image processing, in different production problems, in the machine learning, data mining, engineering design, fluid mechanics, and the telecommunication. I provided one important link for the parameter tuning in the description box. You can check this link and you can learn everything about parameter tuning. Oh, you know how we can perform parameter tuning or the meta heuristic and what is parameter tuning a survey is done in that research paper I provided this link in the description box you can check the link and you can learn everything about parameter tuning in the meta heuristic so that's all about this video I provided all the important resources that you required for the research work in the description box and thanks for watching this video if you have any question, you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.